Hello everyone, this is Anshuman and welcome to another video of Agla Sim School. So students, today we are going to discuss the solution for chapter 6 of NCT class 7 science book that is physical and chemical changes. Before we go to the solutions, let's revise the chapter at a glance. Physical change the change in physical properties in any substance. These changes are reversible and no new substances are formed in these changes. For example, tearing of paper, mixing of sand and water, crushing of water bottle, glowing of electric bulbs, etc. Now let's talk about chemical changes. Chemical changes are the changes in which the composition and chemical properties of the substances get changed. These changes are permanent and irreversible and new substances are formed. For example, formation of curd from milk, burning of candle, rusting of iron, etc. When you talk about the rusting of iron, it is a type of corrosion that occurs easily in natural conditions. Rusting is the process in which iron turns into iron oxide happens when iron reacts with water and oxygen. Rusting can be prevented by painting, oiling and greasing, chromiopating and galvanization and alloying. So friends, this was all in the chapter. Now let's discuss the solutions. So the first question of this chapter is classify the changes involved in the following processes as physical or chemical changes. A. Photosynthesis. This is a chemical change. B. Dissolving sugar in water. This is a physical change. C. Burning of coal. This is a chemical change. Melting of wax. This is a physical change. E. Beating aluminium to make aluminium foil. This is a physical change. F. Digestion of food. This is a chemical change. Now let's move to question number 2. State whether the following statements are true or false. In case of a statement is false, write the correct statement in your notebook. A. Cutting a log of wood into pieces is a chemical change and the statement is false because cutting of log of wood doesn't involve any reaction or chemical process. So it is a physical change. B. Formation of manure from leaves is a physical change. This statement is false because formation of manure includes decomposition and decomposition is a chemical change. Therefore, this is a chemical change. C. Iron pipes coated with zinc do not get rusted easily. This statement is true. D. Iron and rust are the same substances. This statement is also true. E. Condensation of steam is not a chemical change. This statement is also true. Now moving to question number 3. Fill in the blanks in the following statements. A. When carbon dioxide is passed through lime water, it turns milky due to the formation of dash. And the answer is calcium carbonate or CaCO3. B. The chemical name of baking soda is dash. And the answer is sodium hydrogen carbonate or NaHCO3. C. Two methods by which rusting of iron can be prevented are dash and dash. And the answer to it will be two methods by which rusting of iron can be prevented are galvanization and painting. D. Changes in which only dash properties of a substance change are called physical changes. And the answer is changes in which only physical properties of a substance change are called physical changes. E. Changes in which new substances are formed are called dash changes. And the answer to it will be changes in which new substances are formed are called chemical changes. Now let's discuss question number 4. When baking soda is mixed with lemon juice, bubbles are formed with the evolution of a gas. What type of change it is? Explain. And the answer to it will be when baking soda or sodium hydrogen carbonate is mixed with lemon juice that is a citric acid, bubbles are formed. The bubbles are formed due to the evolution of carbon dioxide gas. This is a chemical change. In this change, Citric acid contained in lemon juice reacts with sodium hydroxide carbonate which results in the evolution of carbon dioxide gas. Now moving to question number 5. 
when a candle burns both physical and chemical changes takes place identify these changes give another example of a familiar process in which both the chemical and physical changes takes place and the answer to it will be when a candle burns both physical and chemical changes takes place physical change is melting of wax and chemical change is burning of wax eating of food is another example where both physical and chemical changes occur simultaneously where physical change is breaking down of large food particles into smaller particles and chemical change is the digestion itself now let's see question number 6 how would you show that setting of curd is a chemical change and the answer to it will be once the curd is formed milk cannot be reobtained from it also both milk and curd have different properties since these are the properties of a chemical change setting of curd is a chemical change itself now let's move to question number 7 explain why burning of wood and cutting it into small pieces are considered as two different types of changes and the answer to it will be when we burn wood a new substance coal is formed therefore it is a chemical change however when we cut the wood only the shape and size of the wood are changed no new substance is formed therefore it is a physical change now let's discuss question number 8 describe how crystals of copper sulfate are prepared and the answer to it will be crystals of copper sulfate are prepared by the method of crystallization the process is as follows a cup of water is taken in a beaker few drops of dilute sulfuric acid are added to this the water is then heated and when it starts boiling copper sulfate powder is added with stirring copper sulfate powder should be added on till the solution becomes saturated it is then filtered into a china dish and allowed to cool the solution should be kept undisturbed slowly the crystals of copper sulfate separates out now question number 9 explain how painting of an iron gate prevents it from rusting and the answer to it will be rusting is added by both moisture that is water and air that is oxygen by painting an iron gate we prevent its contact from air and moisture present in the atmosphere hence rusting is prevented now let's see question number 10 explain why rusting of iron objects is faster in coastal areas than in deserts and the answer to it will be both air and moisture are required for rusting to take place in coastal areas the quantity of moisture present in air is more than that in deserts in desert areas the amount of moisture in air is even lower therefore rusting of iron objects is faster in coastal areas than in deserts now let's see question number 11 the gas we use in the kitchen is called liquefied petroleum gas or lpg in the cylinder it exists as a liquid when it comes out from the cylinder it becomes a gas change a then it burns change p the following statements pertain to this changes choose the correct one one process a is a chemical change two process b is a chemical change three both processes a and b are chemical changes and four none of the processes is a chemical change and the right answer to it will be Two process B is a chemical change. Now let's move to the last question of this chapter. That is question number twelve. Anaerobic bacteria digest animal waste and produce biogas. Change A. The biogas is then burned as fuel. That is change B. The following statements pertain to these changes. Choose the correct one. One process A is a chemical change. Two process B is a chemical change. 3 both processes a and b are chemical changes or 4 none of these processes is a chemical change and the answer to it will be 3 both processes a and b are chemical changes so students this was all for this chapter hope you like the video and if you did then do not forget to like it and share it with your friends and if you still have any doubt regarding this chapter then you can ask us by writing to us in the comment section below we will surely get back to you and subscribe to our channel for more such ncert videos like this we will meet you soon till then bye bye